a really, really serious topic here. Um, literature is in crisis. The written word is dying. Books are dying. It's all fucking on the ground in a fetal position. And that's been going on for a while, but this past month has been brutal. Like, first of all, like 500 of our top men and women of letters have been, like, caught in scandals where they've been, like, plagiarizing, making up quotes from, like, fake 1960s protest singers. Like, I didn't even know that, like, who here has, like, heard of Jean... Um, Oh, sorry, Georgie Bonblanc, the, the 1960s protest folk rock singer. Apparently, no such person even exists. I downloaded three of Georgie Bonblanc's albums from iTunes before I found out that he was actually just made up by like one of these New Yorker writers. And like that one song, that one song about the Laotian peasants burning their brassiers for warmth in the middle of the brutal winter of 1968, it's super catchy. It's been stuck in my head for a week, but. It turns out it's not actually a real song at all. It doesn't exist. <laughs> really, really embarrassing. Like, my, I, 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 iTunes won't give me my money back. I'm really pissed. Anyway, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. You know, the reader confidence is at an all-time low. Genre fiction. Genre fiction has been really hard hit. It turns out that um, many of our best genre writers have been writing in genres that actually completely do not exist at all. <laughs> like, um, paranormal romance. Apparently, was completely made up, and you know, hundreds and hundreds of authors have been writing paranormal, paranormal romance books. And now, like, if you like, if like me, you have a shelf of paranormal romance books, you open one of them up, and it just all it reads is blah 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 vampire, blah 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 penis, blah 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 swoon. The end. It's like really disappointing. The whole genre is just gone because it turned out like it was never really there. And also any genre with punk in the name. <laughs> Completely like a huge elaborate hoax. Going back decades, like there was this group of Russian hackers who decided to social engineer us with this fake group of punk genres. Like cyberpunk, steampunk, ribbon punk. No, there's no such thing as ribbon punk. Beer punk? Okay. I personally have spent the last year and a half writing a bear punk novel where the main character is like a strain of super intelligent yeast. And it's just, it's fucked now. I can't do anything with it. Because that's not even a real genre. I'm really pissed. So, this is the problem. Like, the written word is just like, well, people don't even know what they can do anymore. People are going to start reading newspapers again. They're so confused. Like, seriously. The world of letters has not been in such a perilous state since World War II when they were like rationing nouns. Um, but, you know, basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna fix it tonight, here and now. That's what this is about. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, to that end, we've lured five authors here on the pretext that they're going to read their works. But actually what we're gonna do is rebuild the social contract between writer and reader. The only way you can rebuild the contract with human sacrifice. Yes? That's right. Yeah, and you know, they'll, they'll be fine. They'll, they'll read a little bit of their works and then we'll vote on what to do with them. And actually, we're webcasting it, so people, like, this is the first, first um, this is the first author cution that's being done through Amazon.com. <laughs> Amazon has this whole new functionality where you can vote through Amazon on how you want authors to die. And we're implementing it tonight, okay? We're webcasting, people are gonna vote, but don't worry, you guys in the audience, your votes count for more. You guys are voting by facial recognition. We have like cameras, we're doing facial recognition technology. So I want you all to practice. On the count of three, can you all do your face for let's burn, let's boil S Simon Shepard alive in a vat of like used Popeye's fryer oil? Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> that was not very, con very convincing face. I'm sorry. I would not know how to kill Simon Shepard looking at your faces. You're going to have to work on that, okay? You've got a little while because we're going to have somebody read first and then we're going to author cute them. And it's also, we're having some technical glitches with the Amazon hookup, so there might be some delays. But.